Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Aaron LeBauer, and welcome to the State of the Industry uh, 2020 PT Trends and Predictions, and we're going to level you up for 2021. So well, I'm just waiting for everyone uh, to get here while we do. What I want you to do is uh, comment below and let me know where you're joining us from, and let me know what you're most excited about. And by the way, if you have a friend uh, that needs to be on here who's in business or getting ready to start a business or uh, you know whatnot needs to be in this group, you know, tag them below. You might have to go invite them into the group. I think uh, Delisa, my assistant, might be on and able to approve some people last minute. But I really want to know where you're joining us from. So comment below. Let me know. Are you uh, team live or are you team replay? If you're team live, comment team live below. And if you're on team replay, you're watching this on replay, comment team replay below. Let me know that you saw this um, because we got some awesome stuff uh, ready for you and tonight and um, some really cool things, especially for people that stick around to the end. Um, I've got a special prize and, uh, and some gifts for you. What's up, Toby? How's it going? Oh, dude, Toby, we're going to crush it. And Toby is already um, one of the rock stars. What's up, Julie? Team Live. Julie is another rock star, so I'm super stoked to have you guys on here. Um, you guys, These are Mastermind members, and uh, these guys put everything on the line to go big for their patients and um, get some amazing results. So uh, let's see. Let me just refresh my page in the group. So what I want to know is... Um, what are your goals for 2021? What do you want to have happen? While we're waiting for everyone to get started, I just want to kind of get a little bit of uh, info um, from you guys who are on. Just let me know like where you're calling in from. What are your big goals for next year? What do you want to have happen in 2021? What do you want to have happen that's different than 2020? What's up, Danny? How's it going? Okay, um, let me see if I can... Let me just play my music again for a second. Y'all know this? But I got to be careful because Facebook will get too much of that. My friend, uh, my good friend Greg Todd uh, used to get kicked off of his Facebook uh, lives for too many comments but too much music. Um, tonight, you know, as much as uh, we all want to get together and have a dance party, I think what we need to do is um, give a 2020 a good rundown and... Uh, give 2021 the best opportunity or give you the biggest opportunity to make 2021 your best year ever. What's up, Jordan Mather? Dude, Jordan is also crushing it, helping PTs market and scale their businesses, uh, helping people uh, run Facebook ads, etc. cetera. Um, Julie says, hire help. Toby says, systems my business and no longer trade time for money and hire two PTs. And Julie wants to climb two of the seven summits and earn 100k. Hell yeah. Um, all right, what's up, Dean Volk? 20, Dean Volk's um, goal, 20k a month online business. Hell yes, Dean. It's absolutely, we were just going over this today on my Platinum Mastermind call, like what is possible online, uh, making money with one of our Mastermind members, and just talking about how like really the sky's the limit, especially when you have a massive audience like moms or uh, people with back pain. I mean, these are massive audiences. All right, um, Jordan says 100K a month by October. Hilt to the yeah, that's it. Love the big goals. That is so awesome. Let me see if I can, oh, I got my new little, look at that, bam. Oh, y'all seeing this? This is Dean, I can do, I got the new little program that's letting me level up, let's see. And Toby says, systems in my business, not trade time for money and hire two Ps. If you're just joining us, hey, welcome to the uh, show. My name is Aaron LeBauer, and this is the state of the industry, um, trends and predictions for 2021. But I'm gonna, we're going to give 2020 a recap, <laughs> and then we're going to talk about how to crush it in 2021. If you're just joining us, comment Team Live below. Let me know you're here, Team Live. Where are you joining us from? And what's your big, hairy, audacious, impossible goal for 2021? What is your big goal for next year? What's up, Delisa? Um, so, you know, that's it. I mean, that's it. Like, what is your big goal? Like, what do you want to have happen this time next year? Let's just say, you know, we crush it together next year. Looking back over the next year, what has to happen in your personal life and your business for you to feel happy with your results? I'm saying just happy, 
satisfied. What has to happen between now and next time next year? What's up, Paul? What's up, Jill? All right, um, expand business. So, Paul, tell me, like, what is expand business? Does it mean hire two PTs, double your monthly revenue, double your monthly patients? What is that? What is that specific number? Oh yeah, Jordan's from Milwaukee, one of my favorite towns. I love Milwaukee. I don't know if you guys know this. I spent a lot of time racing bikes. I spent three, maybe it was four summers in uh, Milwaukee uh, racing bikes. It's super weak. Um, all right, we're going to get into this. Is everyone uh, ready to rock and roll? I think most people are here. Um, uh, goal, start my own cash pay PT and Pilates based business. Oh, I can't tell who that is. I wish I, I could because um, let me see if I can. I can open up the Facebook and it'll tell me. Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. And that's Mandy. Mandy, double my income. Grow enough to hire a second person by the end of 2021. Um, what's up, Sarah? Uh, so, hey, guys, um, I'm using Ecamm. And if it says, hey, allow Ecamm preferences or Ecamm permission to show your stuff, it's just uh, the program I'm using to stream today. Um, which gives me access to seeing your like name and comments and all that stuff. So just make sure if it shows up for you. Here, let me rock my music again. All right. At the risk of getting booted by Facebook, I'm not going to play the rest of my songs. Um, Paul says, hire staff. Mandy says, uh, team live, double my income, grow enough to hire a second person by the end of the year. I love it. Uh, Sarah says um, Team Live, Gainesville, Florida, fully launched uh, to go from side hustle to fire my real job and make it my only job. Yes, do that. Who here has gone from side hustle to full time hustle and fired their old job? And who here, so if you went, if you started with a side hustle, just comment side hustle below. If you started and you went all in, like I did, and you know, comment all in, like you, you didn't do a side hustle, you just started from scratch. What's up, Alexis? Oh, yes. I'm so stoked you're here. Um, let's see. Danny says, uh, launch mobile business uh, starting as a side hustle by fourth quarter, generate 7K a month to quit full-time job. I want to challenge you to quit your full-time job before you're generating 7K a month. Um, and then I don't know who said this one. Damn right, Aaron's my... F <laughs> I love it. You guys rock. I fi Julie says, I fired my old life. Side hustle to all in. Thanks to you. Absolutely, Alexis. Alexis, you crushed it. Um, and uh, you still are making a massive impact in people's lives. Um, Don Lorenz, still a side hustle, hoping to launch. Like, make it happen. Like, now is the time, right? So, you guys ready to get rocking and rolling with this? And just comment yes if you want to get uh, started with the, I know we call it a presentation, the learning, the knowledge. I'm going to share with you guys a ton of uh, insights that I have. A couple things uh, that I, looking back as I was creating this, I was like, ooh, I called that last year. Um, so uh, we're gonna rock and roll. Toby Toby says, quit my full-time job by June 2021. Dude, we're, Toby, it's gonna be my uh, goal to make that happen by March. Um, and uh, when we get on our onboarding call uh, this week, which I think might be tomorrow, uh, we'll map that out for you, absolutely. Um, all right. You guys ready to get started? Um, just comment yes if you want to get started. If you're just joining us, make sure you comment Team Live and tell me what is your big, hairy, audacious goal for 2021 and uh, we'll rock and roll. Um, Jill says, furloughed from my own life. Don't want to go back. Start my own biz. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do this. All right, so um, all you do is press the button. Boom, there it is. Okay, I love this. I've got some new technology and I'm, I'm super stoked. Um, so, hello and welcome. My name's Aaron LeBauer and uh, we're gonna be talking about um, state of the PT industry, 2021. Trends and predictions, how the physical therapy industry is changing and how not to get left behind. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, was, this year was kind of nuts, wasn't it? Here, my goal tonight is to give you everything I got in the time that we have. And then, look, at the end, if you feel like you need some more help, I'm going to give you um, an opportunity to get it. And if you stay until the end, we're going to do a live Q&A, and I'm going to give away $100. So let's see if this works. Push the button. 
push the button. Oh man, there it is. Look at that, Amazon gift card. Like I'm serious, this is the Amazon gift card. One person's gonna win this and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get it. Because this is my ethical bribe. I want you to like stay because I want you to crush it in your business. I don't want you to like leave and miss something important that you're gonna miss thousands of dollars. So I'm gonna bribe you to stay and give you a $100 Amazon gift card because why not? Fair enough. And let me push my button and get my presentation back. There it is. So that's if you stay in the end. And, and like I said, I promise a QA. and a um, People ask me all the time, Aaron, can I pick your brain? Um, I don't do, you know, pick your pick my brain calls. Um, you know, to get on a call with me is a minimum of $1,500. Uh, so tonight's your opportunity to get a um, massive amount of uh, questions answered and uh, value downloaded to you. So what makes this different? Well, I've been doing this, uh, been treating patients in a cash practice for 20 years. I started as a massage therapist in 1999. I went to PT school and I saw 43 patients in one day and realized I couldn't do it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do that insurance-based physical therapy. And so I started my cash practice right out of school and I've been doing that since 2000 and when I graduate, 2008. Uh, so I started February 2009 with a baby on the way. Everyone says, Aaron, I'm gonna wait till my wife has babies or I'm gonna wait till I have the baby. No, like get started now. Um, and I've been coaching other physical therapists uh, to scale their time, income and impact since 2013. And my clinic's right across the street and I'm in it every day. Well, I'm not in the clinic every day, but I'm in the business, we're growing it, we're seeing patients. We're, you know, testing things in our clinic that I'm teaching my Platinum Mastermind students and that once that works for them, then we teach it to you guys through the Cash Beauty Nation, blogs, podcasts, etc. So, like I, I said, just a little recap. I saw, I saw 43 patients in one day as a DPT student. But before that, back in 1997, I packed up all my belongings into my Jeep Cherokee and drove out to California and I slept on the couch in the rain for six weeks. I thought... I could just show up in uh, Berkeley and get a, and, and rent a place. No, nope. I stayed on a friend of a friend of a friend's couch on the porch and it was raining. It was the El Nino winter. Luckily, I had just gotten a nice uh, down sleeping bag for my college graduation present. Um, I started my cash practice right out of PT school. And I opened in the middle of, or actually the bottom of the 2009 recession. So my massage practice survived the dot-com crash in San Francisco. And then I opened my cash practice in February 2009. And the recession officially ended like maybe uh, August or September of that year, I think. That's when it ended. That's when like the stock market started going the other direction. <laughs> um, I have 100% cash-based practice. And I've hired my employee back in 2016, which is probably, which is five years too late. I've grossed over 1.85 million in online sales, which, so I've got my clinic and my online coaching business. I love working out, kettlebells, yoga, traveling with my family, food. I love fitness. I love helping people and solving problems. And I love working with other people that are passionate about fitness and health. Um, I've also had the opportunity to be showcased in Entrepreneur Magazine as a member of Oracles, and I've been featured in Forbes. I've got uh, multiple articles uh, written in Forbes uh, Magazine online in the Business Council, and I own LeBauer Physical Therapy. Like I said, I've got a great, amazing team. Um, Amber, Caitlin, Dr. Herzog, uh, we've got Brenna, um, that's Tyler, who's my last Cash PD resident, Delisa, and Andra, my wife. And really, Andra is one of those key players who um, you don't notice until she's gone. And she's been gone most of this year because she's been, you know, one, unable to work as a massage therapist, but two, focused on our family and our kids. And um, we can feel her uh, lack of presence in the, in the office. And, uh, but I, I wouldn't be able to do this without a team, without being able to hire amazing people to help run our business. I'm also the creator of the Cash PT Blueprint, um, which is an online course, and then it companion book, the Cash PT Blueprint, which is the book, which is kind of like the manual to the course, the Cash PT Toolkit, Income Impact Academy, and multiple other 
online courses, programs, the Cash BD Platinum Mastermind, which is my high level mastermind group. I've got a podcast. I mean, if you don't know about the podcast, the Cash BD Lunch Hour, it's something you're going to want to check out. And uh, like I said, uh, we recently launched uh, my book, uh, The Cash BD Blueprint. You know, when I got started, I was like, I'm going to write a book. And I realized my ADD was so strong, it was really hard to sit down and put all my thoughts and things together. And so I created a course, which I felt was more spoke to my strengths. And then the last few years as I've built my team, you know, Brenna was someone who really helped me organize my thoughts and I was able to launch a book. And last year, well actually this year, PT BizCon 2020, um, it was a live in-person event. We um, switched it to virtual because of COVID with eight days to go and pulled it out. And we we're actually able to get over 200 people to attend the event. We started countless brand new businesses from uh, PT BizCon, almost all, all cash practices. And uh, I mean, I didn't even count and uh, got so much great uh, feedback from all you guys. So thank you for joining us there. And really, why am I doing this? What wakes me up every day is that I'm on a mission to save 100 million people from unnecessary surgery. And why? It's because I've seen too many patients like my patient, um, Paul, who had an ankle surgery. And it hurt. Three months later, he went to see his, in quotes, doctor. And they're like, well, let's get an x-ray. And they're like, well, nothing's wrong. Well, it hurts. And then they did an MRI. Nothing's wrong. We're like, well, we let's do some arthroscopic surgery. <laughs> so he, he gets surgery for an ankle that hurts, that there was nothing wrong on the MRI or x-ray. Okay, six months later, it still hurts. Well, now they go do an MRI and there's, oh, there's scar tissue in there. So they do a second surgery, two surgeries in eight months. And I'm seeing him like two years later at the point where they're recommending a third surgery. He's a um, self-professed opioid addict. I mean, he's not like, I'm an addict. He's like, I'm addicted. Like, I can't not take this because I have no other solution. And when I travel for work, when I travel for work, you know, I'm, you know, I got to go to China and I run out and I either go through withdrawals or when I try to go ask for a refill before the 30 days is up, they look at me like I'm a criminal because I'm just trying to get extra so I don't run out when I'm, you know, out of town on work. And it's nuts. If you've had an experience like that with a patient, um, just comment below like, that sucks. I don't know. Um, but it really does. It's patients like that who've been told never to lift 35 pounds ever again, who've been sent straight to injection and surgery without ever being touched. And in order for me to reach 100 million people from unnecessary surgery, I have to help 55,555 physical therapists, and I have to help them learn how to market directly to patients. And why is that number? Because most of you guys aren't going to work half as hard as me. And if you're going to have a 20-year career, 20 patients a week, um, 15 new patients a month, that's how many people it's going to take. So yeah, I mean, it sucks to be, you know, to be between a brick and a heart, you know, rock and a hard place. And guess what with this patient? I, you know, after two or three visits, we didn't make that big of a dent because of the, you know, the medication he was on, the worry that he had by all the other providers. And I couldn't, it's like, I knew I could help, but I could not help this patient. And I've had way too many patients like that. So let's get in to the 2021 trends and predictions. <laughs> First, I want to review 2020. So here's the thing. Um, every winter in January, it used to be between, uh, well, sometime between uh, Christmas and New Year's. When I was working by myself, between Christmas and New Year's, my patients wouldn't come in. So I'd always just say, whatever, I'm just not going to see patients between those two holidays. I'm going to spend my time reviewing my business and working on my systems for the next year and getting those things done that I hadn't had a chance to do. Now in the last three years, we do it in January. I take a little bit more time off during the holidays, but then I have my team, we get together in January. We do a year end review as well as a planning session. And the planning has already happened. Like I already know what 2021 is going to bring for Aaron LeBauer. And we, we kind of uh, built, like I've built the architecture of what we're going to do and we do a review and then we update systems that were broken or things that need to fill in the spots. And we're focused on the 10x things, not the 10% things. If you know what your, um, what your 2021 is going to bring, uh, you know, I, if you have a plan 
for 2021, just comment plan in the in the chat. Just let me know. I have a plan. But first, let's review 2020. So the economy. Okay, what happened with the economy in 2020? Damn it. Didn't 2020 throw you for a loop? Like, and I can tell you what, the economy is a funny thing, right? The pandemic comes, everything's going great. March 18th or 15th rolls around and we start seeing these things change. And then, you know, that's when I think we, was it the 20th, 18th, 15th, I had to move PT BizCon to virtual. Well, if we looked at the economy and judged it by the stock market, the stock market is crushing it. Like the stock market has met record highs. And I knew right then in March, April, I was calling my uh, financial advisor. I was like, hey, I know everyone's freaking out about the stock market, but I'm cool to keep putting money in it and actually to put more money in it if we need to, right? But the stock market didn't really go down. But guess what? Mortgage rates went down. Lending rates went down. And so now... People are selling houses above market value. People who want to buy houses can't find houses that are for sale because people are going to stay in their house because they can refinance at such a low rate. You know, the economy is one of those things where there's so many people out there who don't have money right now and there are people that have plenty of money. The money is flowing. So let me ask you this question. How come some people out there are struggling, maybe losing everything? You know, and they to get their business off the ground or to grow it or even to keep it. And others are crushing it. Others are growing. And I'm not just talking about Jeff Bezos and Amazon. I'm talking about I've got physical therapists who've closed down their clinics this year. And I'm never going to be in business for, again. And physical therapists who are telling me no less than a dozen of my mastermind members and private coaching clients have told me this year they've had record months or record year. How come some people are either A, you know, like are crushing it. And some people are losing everything. Is it A, a lack of opportunity, or B, lack of knowledge? Comment below. Let me know. Is it a lack of opportunity, or is it B, a lack of knowledge? Look, I agree with you. It's B. It's a lack of knowledge. Because the opportunity is out there. Money's still flowing. The government's printing money. I mean, the government's given me money. And the gov- as a business owner, you have the opportunity to get money. And people are still spending Money's still flowing. You just have to find where you basically have to say, where's my money and go find it. And it's about solving problems for people. The bigger the problem you solve, the more money you can demand for it. Doesn't that make sense? All right. COVID. Oh, oh, you know what? I forgot to do something before I jump into COVID. Let's do this. I forgot to press my fun button. Here's how you're going to win $100. Let me see, does this work? Okay, I'm going to get to COVID. I want to find out, oh, my button's not working. There it is. Here, I'm going to tell you how you're going to win this $100. And if you're just joining, let me tell you how to win this $100 Amazon gift card. I'm ready to go. What you got to do is you got to screenshot something, and you're going to go... Uh, follow me on Instagram and you're going to uh, do an Instagram story and you got to tag me at Aaron LeBauer and you're going to shout out, where's my button show up? You got to just basically shout out like your number one insight and I'll give you time at the end to do this before we do a, a little drawing. Fair enough. So if, if you want to do, if you agree, just comment $100 in the chat. Um, all you gotta do is just like make sure you follow me on Instagram and do an Instagram story and you could do a screenshot and just share like your biggest insight. Okay, that's how we're gonna raffle off the, the hundred dollars. I should have done that before, but you know, 80% is good enough. So the economy, money is still flowing and the economy got wrecked because people can't go out. People can't go to grocery stores. They can't go to, um, can't go to the movie theater. There's a lot, there's going to be a big change and a thinning of the herd. There's a massive thinning of the herd happening this year, and you don't want to be on the thinning part, but only the entrepreneurs who are willing to stick it out and do whatever it takes and be resilient and who are built for winter are going to move on to the next, move on to the next level. COVID. I mean, 
COVID, it's one of those funny things right now a little bit. Like, luckily, we can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. But it's one of those things where now it's like, how you doing? Doing great, but, you know, COVID. I mean, COVID. God, a pandemic? Who would have expected this thing? Like, it just moved us sideways. And because of this, um, I want you guys to understand this. Like, we're no longer playing golf. You know, we no longer know where the hole is. Like, in golf, you know, there's 18 holes. You know where the hole is. You know you're probably going to lose some balls. You're probably going to whiff some. But eventually, you'll get it in the cup. Because you know where it is and the thing doesn't move around. I mean, the next day, you know, the hole might be in a different spot on the green. But generally, you know where the green is and you know where you're going. Well, this year, we're playing tennis. Because you hit the ball, because you know you got to hit it to the person on the other side. But you don't know where it's going to come back and you don't know how fast. You don't know if it's going to have top spin. It's gonna, you don't know if it's going to have side spin. You don't know even if it's going to go out of bounds. COVID. Oh, my gosh. And... This has got to be one of the biggest opportunities for us as cash-based therapists because who wants to go sit in a waiting room with 50 other people and wait two hours to see an orthopedic surgeon? Who wants to go be, you know, stuck on a plinth? Who knows how clean that thing is? And uh, be treated at the same time as five other people. Like, you know, cash-based physical therapists, I mean, if we're doing one-on-one therapy in a small setting... Even if we're scaled out to multiple locations, like it's a much more intimate, private, personal setting and and people are going to choose it. The one downfall is like a lot of our rooms are smaller, closed off rooms and there's not as much air ventilation in them. So what do we got to do to figure it out, right? Like it's a big issue and it's a massive opportunity to help people. The competition. Okay, like I alluded to this already. The competition is the competition in network PTs, is it the other cash practice down the street? No. No, absolutely not. You know what your competition is? REI, CVS, YouTube, Dr. Google. You know, you can go buy rock tape at like CVS nowadays. You can buy rumble rollers, you can buy Theracanes, you can buy all that stuff at REI, and YouTube, Dr. YouTube, Dr. Instagram, Dr. Google are telling people different things. And that's your competition. And the people who you know you think are competing with you, they're no longer gonna be in business in a few months. Like they can't hold out. You know, the other clinics are clinic owners that are still trying to do things the same as they did in 2019 and they're just not gonna make it. Last year I said, in 2020, telehealth is gonna explode. Well, guess what? Telehealth exploded. This is, I called this one. I was like, telehealth's exploding next year. And I was like, nah, whatever, no one wants telehealth. Oh my God, Rob Vining's group, telehealth group, I don't even know how many people are in that thing now. He added tens of thousands of people to his group in like three months or something crazy. Um, telehealth is here and it's here to stay. It's clearly here to stay, even though some patients, a lot of patients don't want it. There are a lot of patients that do. I've worked with more people that are focused only on telehealth and, and delivering therapy via telehealth and helping others learn how to build telehealth businesses. Like telehealth's here and if you don't have it as an opportunity or an option for your patients, you're missing out. I mean, I was on calls with people who were telling me that I don't even want to do it. Like, I do hands-on therapy. I don't do help telehealth. Well, guess what? They couldn't make enough money to afford the help that they needed to grow their business. I mean, it's, you know, like, just don't be stubborn. Embrace it. I mean, it's here. It's simple. It's as simple as, you know, using something like doxy.me. Student loan debt. Well, hey, Student loan debt is only getting bigger, but guess what? There's some opportunities on the horizon for student loans to be forgiven. You know, I don't know if the legislation or rules have gone through, but it's here, it's coming, and it's getting bigger and bigger. So how do we get a big ROI? You can't sit around and go, well, I'm going to get make 68000 even 85000 a year doing PT when I paid one fifty to two fifty for my education. You're smarter than that. You're worth much more than that. Don't let anyone tell you. You don't have a higher earning potential than that. You just can't do it nine to five working for someone else. You can do it working for someone else 
and have a side hustle or teach uh, a course online, you know, you can do it with multiple streams of revenue. But student loan debt also shouldn't be the thing that keeps you from getting started or that you have to pay off before you start. Um, ben Baggy is one of my Platinum Mastermind members and he paid off 130000 in student loans in by his second year out of PT school. And that's not because he saved every penny and did the whole Dave Ramsey thing. That's because he started a cash practice. He generated over six figures in his first year. And in his second year, he did, um, when he started the Mastermind, we were just doing 22000 a month. In the next 30 days later, he's doing 32. Eight months later, he's doing 64. It's because he busted his ass, he did the work, he grew his business, he scaled it, he marketed it, and he paid off his student loan debt because he earned more money, not because he saved it and didn't spend it and, you know, whatever people are saying. He went for it and got amazing results. I hope this isn't news to you, guys. Reimbursement is going to continue to fall. Like, so let's get off the dying train. Um, the number one mistake most people make is they think that the insurance uh, reimbursed uh, patient visits is the top of their value letter. Reimbursements are going to continue to fall. Like, don't even pretend that they won't. You know. <laughs> all right, CMS Final Rule 2020. I don't know too much about this, but all I know is that people are freaking out because of this Medicare cut. Well, I do know that you get more for evaluations and reevals as a PT now. But everyone's freaking out. You know, like, do you got to freak out about it? Nope. <laughs> Guess what? United Healthcare? Oh my gosh. I mean, this is, I, I think this is even from last year, but all I know is that my dad gave me some United Healthcare stock, uh, like right when I was in PT school. Like, he had some because of, you know, he worked in a hospital and his physician here in Greensboro and. They had uh, stock for, I think it was Humana was the local um, company and it was bought by United Health. That turned into United Healthcare and he gave me some of the stock. Well, guess what? When I was in PT school in 2007 and 2008, United Health was like, we're not paying PT more than $45 no matter what you do. And I was like, fuck you. I'm not holding on to your stock. Okay. <laughs> it went from like $45 to like, it's like $300 a share or something stupid. Like that was probably the worst financial move that I ever made. I wasn't even using a financial advisor. I probably should have held on to it. But these guys, they don't care. They're in it for the profit. They only want, their only operation is how do we bring in more and pay out less? They won't even send people to PT first before surgery. They just like, whatever. Like, I don't care about them either. Like, you just can't. But good news, Oxycontin, what, Purdue Pharma? They're kind of uh, getting busted. But it's a, too little too late, and physical therapy is not part of the conversation about the solutions. Have you guys heard physical therapy like as part of the solution to the whole um, opioid crisis? I want to know, because I haven't heard it, you know, and I don't know what uh, the physical therapy um, association is doing that we're not as part of this conversation. We're not in the news. We're not in the papers. Physical therapy is never an option. It's like, well, just don't give them the, the opioids. We don't know what we're going to do with them. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't fire you up and make you mad, I don't know what does. Salaries tied to reimbursement are going to keep decreasing. Because guess what? If I'm a physical therapy business owner and I can only get I don't know, $45 no matter what you do, I can't pay you more than $45. You know, I have to give you more patients. And the only way to increase your salary is to increase your uh, productivity and what you earn the business. But if reimbursement keeps going down, salaries are going to go down. So if you don't have a job, if you have a job and you want to earn more, you have to figure out a way to bring more value to the practice than uh, just billing insurance. Job opportunities have shrunk and they've decreased. But are you going to do what uh, one of my mastermind members, Jess Jenny, did when her um, she was working as a travel therapist? You know, she saw the writing on the wall and she said, "Okay, let me help uh, the hospital system here. Let me start doing some help you guys get set up with telehealth." But as soon as uh, you know they realized that they had to start, like the patients were coming through the hospital back in March, they let the travelers go. Well, she quickly pivoted to selling um, more of her courses online and going all in on her side hustle. And now she's like, I don't know what, making 20000 or something a month selling online. I mean, it's nuts. But she's also one of those 
go get her, like hustle. She's got a proven product, um, you know, and she doesn't need to uh, work for someone else if she doesn't want to. Because the job opportunity is gone, and if you take advantage of what people need, man, the opportunities are still there. But if you just want to collect a paycheck, like there's less and less opportunities to do that. And for a long time, we thought PTs, you know, I, I get solicited all the time. I haven't been solicited this year in like with a postcard, but every other year I get solicitations to work for some home health company. The job opportunities have shrunk. And guess what? You're still employable, but what are you going to let motivate you to get your business finally launched, to finally go from a side hustle to a full time, to finally like hire that next PT or the next two, or finally move to opening up a second location? Like, I don't need a fallback to make you know to keep me still. If I don't have a fallback, like there's no job opportunities for me, I'm gonna work harder to make my my business more successful. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Let's pause, take a break for a second. Before we get into 2021, I wanna know what's been your number one insight? What's been most helpful for you about this so far? Just put it in the comment below. What's the number one thing that you've learned? Like what's your number one takeaway? What's the thing that's been most helpful for you? Put that in the comment. Um, yeah, Jill is saying uh, she's been a PT for over 20 years. She makes $10 less per hour now than five years ago. Yeah, I believe it. Now, how can you make $100 more per hour or $200 more per hour in your own businesses? That's the next question I want to ask you. Right? So, hey, guys, put in the comments. Let me know, like, what's been most in helpful for you? What's been your number one insight? 2021. Doctors, in air quotes, are can continue to image inject, medicate, and surgerize. Because I'm seeing doctors. Well, I'm talking about physicians or what patients think are doctors. Because we're doctors, too right? It is one of those things where physicians, the medical system, they're going to keep saying, oh, knee pain. Oh, let's inject it. Let's image it. Let's medicate you. Let's do surgery and not send people to PT. In network, business owners are going to continue to struggle. It's real. We've talked about all the reasons why. Declining reimbursement, um, having to see tons of patients. I mean, it's just a model of volume. We've had more people in the last few weeks than in a long time who've come to see us because they've been discharged from PT elsewhere. You know, they've already been, they've been discharged and they're not better. I don't know why they're getting discharged, but they're coming to see us. And it's not the APTA's job to save you. And I'm going to tell you guys this. I don't, I hate putting the APTA under the bus and they missed the ball in a lot of places this year. You know who we learned from to uh, figure out like what protocols to use to bring patients into our clinic? Uh, the American Dental Association and the American Massage Therapy Association and the American Spa Association. I didn't get anything from the APTA's website. Maybe they have something now, but when I needed it in March, April, May, they didn't have it. They missed the ball. And it's not their job to save you. I would argue that if we all were members of the APTA and we all did something about it and changed it, like we would have so much more leverage. But it's not, but just because you're a member or you're not a member and you do join, it's not their job to save you. It's your job. It's only up to you. So there are some amazing new opportunities in 2021. Knowledge is power. Like it, you got to know, like, you know, how do I. How do I scale my business to $3 million a year? Well, I got to know. Do I know? I got it. That's why, that's why I work with a coach. So I can know. I can see. I have to have the knowledge. If I have the knowledge of how it works, then I can do it. It's just like why I went to PT school. That's exactly. I went to PT school. I've spent more money on learning business than I have PT. Because guess what? I want to help more people. And I'm at a point where my therapeutic uh, knowledge, the more I learn, isn't going to help me help more people. I want to help more people. I want to help 55,000. I want to help 100 million people. I want to help 55,000 physical therapists market directly to patients. So we got to have more knowledge, but also we got to have action. Yeah, Toby says, it's my job to save me. 100%. 100%. Bree says, uh, most motivating insight 
I saw this year was a post saying musculoskeletal health is not a medicine issue. It's a mechanics issue. This still resonates. We can all use this mantra. That's interesting. That's great. Thanks for sharing. Um, knowledge is power. If you have knowledge, if your patients have knowledge, the problem is there's a lot of competing types of knowledge. Your expertise is always growing though. And your expertise grows not just with knowledge, not just with experience, but also by working on yourself, by focusing on how do I grow myself? How do I articulate? How do I speak when my inner voice, when my, in, my intuition tells me to? Your expertise is growing when you share what you know and you don't have to feel like you know everything to share because the expert is an expert, a real doctor is one that says, I know I don't know, here's where you're gonna go find it, or I'm gonna go find it for you. And an expert shares what they know. That's how you become an expert. Specialization equals domination. And I'm not talking about specializing in ACL repair or shoulder surgery or frozen shoulder, etc. I'm talking about specializing in specific niche of people, specializing in what you ha what you do for people and who you help, or who you help and what you help them do. That's gonna allow you to dominate. Everyone thinks, well, I don't wanna set goals and I don't wanna niche, I don't wanna exclude people. Look, specializing in something isn't exclusionary. It, you're only gonna be able to help more people if you specialize and you can articulate it. Toby, I love this. Your expertise is growing when you share what you know. Yes, well, thank you. That's with the quotes. I'm, I think, was that me that said that? <laughs> Specialization is domination. Um, Mia, Amita says, insight, I'm willing to pay 200 for a great PT visit, so why wouldn't others pay me that? 100%, I love this. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you all this right now. Like, would you pay someone else $200? If you would never pay someone else $200, how would you ever ask that? But if you're willing to pay 200, 250, even $500 for a visit, why can't you charge the same? And that's mindset, that's up here, that's you saving yourself. All right, it's even easier now in 2021 to impact millions and sell online. Like you guys know what's happening with Amazon, right? Instacart, what else, uh, Zoom. Like online, people are online, it's easier to help more people, to reach more people and sell online now than ever. And it has nothing to do with the pandemic, it's just these things were already there and you have to take advantage of them. It's so easy to sell online. In 2013, dude, you had to be like a tech wizard to be able to create a product to connect PayPal to it so that you could like sell like the toolkit and download it. There was no Dropbox or Google Drive and you know, email automation was like archaic. And uh, you know, I had to actually upload a zip file and you had to download it. I couldn't store it on the cloud. You know, now, I mean, oh my gosh, it's so much easier to to help more people and sell products and services online. I mean, even Facebook groups, I know people that sell $1,000 programs and you only get access to a Facebook group, you know? And 2021, you have to sell your products and services online because if you're not, you're missing out. If you don't, if you refuse to, you're just saying, I don't want that opportunity of money and help. And, and serving other people in impact. You have to do it. Even if you are a great manual therapist, you have to offer something online because there are people that are gonna be waiting a COVID test and they're not gonna come see you, but yet you could probably help them because you could talk to them through um, some self-mobilizations or some treatments or exercises. You could calm them down, you could give them hope. You don't need to be in person to do those things with people. I need to be in person to touch you, but I don't need to be in person to show you how to touch you yourself. I can empower patients and people don't pay for your time and they don't pay for your touch. They pay for the transformation you help them create. Another big opportunity is online courses and group programs. How can you create an online course or group program that allows you to help more than one person at a time? Like this might just be a great adjunct to your current therapy. It could be a bonus value add to all your new patients or it could be a lead generator to get new patients. One of my mastermind members, Adam Potts, had a Tai Chi course and through the Income Impact Academy, 
we uh, basically he he relaunched it. He created a new. Um, he took the old thing that didn't launch very well, made it the upsell. He got a bunch of upsells and he got new patients out of it. So did Andy Kirk. Andy Kirk went through the 30-day program and got two new patients worth four thousand dollars into it. So your online courses can lead to patients. Patients can fill your online courses. It can be a great downsell, or it could be a completely different niche. There's so many opportunities there that if you're not willing to look at them, you're just going to miss it and everybody's going to blow by you. Because consumers are going to demand higher quality care in that they want to know that you're keeping things clean. They want to know that you're, um, I mean, hey, look, there's people out there that don't care and think this is a hoax. You know, I'm coming to you knowing like, like, Like COVID is actually, there's a real virus and people are really getting sick and there's a problem, right? People want to know, like, are you going to spend time with me? Are you going to keep your facility clean? X, Y, and Z. A lot of people won't, aren't unable to articulate it, but they want you um, to, and want to know that your facility is clean. They want to know that you're taking care of them. You're walking them through the process and they're going to require a lot more time. So that's an onboarding. They're just, you know, um, they're lonely. They're, they're um, nervous. They're afraid. They need someone to talk to. And it's just going to take more time. It's just So how can you figure out, like, how do you take more time for people and still process them through your business? I mean, we got to actually treat people or process them through. Like, it takes us almost twice as much time and touch points to get new people into the clinic now than it did this time last year. And we just had this meeting this week with my team where what are the new time sucks, the things that we can get rid of and the things we can't. Like we can't not clean, we can't not do laundry every day and we can't not clean the floors and surfaces every day. We didn't have to do that every single day this time last year. And also we've got uh, certain people that come in for a free visit that we were following up with a lot and we don't need to do that. We've automated it by email. We don't need to automate them because the return on our investment in time and follow up um, wasn't bringing in uh, you know, a significant number of people that it was just taking a lot of time. So we're gonna concentrate on our current patients for that with that time. Personal relationships still matter more than social media. And you know what? For a lot of you, it's gonna be tough because you can't get out in your community now or maybe you will be able to um, some of you just don't want to, like I have, you know, know people who are like, Aaron, I just don't like marketing to people. I just want to do it all through Facebook ads. Absolutely. Social media is great, but personal relationships matter. And how can you build a personal relationship with someone through your email marketing, through your video message, through your Facebook, through a live, through a blog, through a podcast, through an in-person meeting, even socially distanced. How can you build those relationships through a chat? It still matters more than followers then uh, your feed, etc. Cash practices are going to continue to grow and thrive. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but there's more and more people launching cash practices every month. There's more and more people coaching cash practice owners, which means there's more and more cash practice uh, people interested in starting launching a cash practice. We've got record number of people in our group and there's like 5,600 people in the Cash PT Nation. I mean, they are gonna continue to grow and thrive. More and more people every day are sending me messages. Aaron, I read your book, uh, listen to your podcast. I'm gonna start a cash practice when I get out of school. I mean, I just got that message yesterday. And I'm like, wow, like 10 years ago, I did it out of school, everyone told me I was crazy and it's not gonna work. And I, even like three years ago, someone put out a podcast, like why a new grad should never start of PT practice, especially cash practice. I'm like, all right, where's my dozen people? And I counted two dozen people that had gone through my course, uh, the Cash PT Blueprint at the time, or that I knew personally. And uh, after two dozen, I stopped, uh, I stopped counting. And these are people that started right after PT school. They're gonna continue to grow and thrive because guess what? It's a model of care where your patient is also the consumer and there's no triangular relationship. And one-on-one -on -one physical therapy is dead. Think about that for a second. One-on-one -on -one physical therapy is dead. 
What do I mean by that? I don't mean you'll never be doing one, you should not be doing one-on-one -on -one care. I don't mean that you should stop building your cash practice and seeing one person an hour. What I do mean is that one-on-one -on -one physical therapy has its place. There's plenty of people that need it. There are so many people that don't get the care or the time they need to help listen to their story, figure out what's wrong. And with the internet and video, you can help so many more people during your hour that why would you, if you could help 20 people in one hour, why would you only help one, right? It's a slightly different problem, a slightly different message. But it's not the panacea. One-on-one -on -one physical therapy is not the, the goal you should be shooting for. It shouldn't be, I'm gonna see my 20 one-on-one -on -one patients a week and I'm gonna run my group coaching thing and help 50 to 500 people over here. You know, I'm gonna do some one-on-one -on -one stuff or some small group stuff and I'm gonna help thousands of people over here because guess what? There's, the reason I said your competition isn't the other PT across the street is because what, like 7% of people who go to their primary care physician with back pain get referred to PT. Of the people who've been taking opioids, 53% of them were prescribed it for back pain. But they're not being sent to PT. And if all of a sudden they were all sent to PT, we'd be overwhelmed. I mean, I've got mastermind members who are like, Aaron, I'm busy, I'm full. <laughs> like, I don't have, I think Julie's on here, she was saying today, she's like, I don't have more room or capacity. That's a great problem to have. Like, how do we help more people? Because they need it. Business owners that think outside the box are gonna thrive. 100%, in 2021, if you're an outside the box thinker, you're gonna crush it. And well, as long as you take action on your ideas and what you, and, and what you um, discover. Because if you're trying to run the same path that everyone else has run before you and think you're gonna get something different to happen next year, uh, then happened this year that's called, isn't that the definition of insanity? If you can identify a big problem people want solved now, it's your time. 2021 is yours if you know a problem people want solved. If you can find it and figure it out. You know what the problem with uh, most, mo uh, look, there's a big problem with business owners and pay people, customers can't come to see them. But why aren't they thinking outside the box? Like, and trying something different. They're trying to just do the same thing with less people. Well, it doesn't work. And I, I granted there's some industries where government regulations are gonna prohibit them from selling alcohol on the sidewalk. And if I lived in Greensboro, there are plenty of restaurants here that have um, parking lot space. I would have erected a, uh, a tent through the summer. Seat everyone outdoors, no big deal. I mean, there are places that just didn't even do that. Like. Oh, and I was told by people, oh, that's expensive. I'm like, yeah, so it's not being in business. So there are problems that need to be solved. They might not be the same problems. They definitely won't be the same problems. And they might be new problems that you didn't think were problems. But you have to get in the head of your customer. You have to think like how they think. Your income is only limited by you. Think about that. Your income is only limited by you, by your brain. Wouldn't you agree? Is there anyone else limiting your income? Maybe your boss? Well, whose choice is that? Ask for a raise. And when you do, show them how you're gonna generate them more money. Or go start your own business and generate more money. Patients are gonna pay for the results. Patients will pay for the results they're not getting. If you say that in a way that if they're not getting them somewhere else and they're going to get results with you, yes, they will pay. Um, and Jess said, amen, find problems and solve them. Absolutely, find a problem and solve it. Because if, you know, and you're not your own customer. So my problems are not necessarily my customer's problems. So I have to find a problem that more than a handful of people want solved. Even if one person wants it solved, they pay me $25,000 to solve that problem. I'll do that, even if it's only one person. I mean, as long as it didn't take me, you know, <laughs> a thousand hours of my time. <laughs> Does it make sense? What are you guys getting from this? Comment below, let me know, like, what's your number one insight? Has this been helpful? Hit the little thumbs up or hearts button um, and comment below, like, what's been your number one insight? And I wanna remind you guys, um, go, f 
Make sure you follow me on the Instagram, at Aaron LeBauer. Let me see if that comes up, my button. There it is. And I'm gonna give away 100 bucks really soon uh, on Amazon. You just gotta be following me and you gotta like do a little screenshot and uh, shout it out on the Instagram story and tag me. Or even like hey, I and hashtag I work for patients. I'm gonna give you 100 bucks soon once we get to the Q&A. All right, let's see. Toby says, those who think outside the box will thrive, 100%. The big four things you need to be prepared to do or be in 2021 is authentic, transparent, find a niche, focus on a niche, and your community. You got to be authentic. What does authentic mean? Just be you. Just share. Share without expectation of reciprocity. I learned that from my wife, Andra. Transparent. Look, Mrs. Jones, I know it's, I know like, you know, uh, I know the insurance is a, you know, like whether we take your insurance or not is a um, concern of yours. First, how about we figure out if I can actually help you? And if I can help you, we'll be absolutely transparent with um, your prices, programs, your investment, the time, and, and your investment in time, money, and effort it's going to take to get the result you want. Sound good? Great. I'm going to be transparent. This is what we charge. This, this is how long, you know, these are our payment options. This is how long it's going to take to get you better. Like... There's no hidden fees. There's nothing. It's transparent. A niche. And we help active people um, recover from injury and get better, faster, and stronger. Uh, and that's, you know, we help active people in Greensboro. You can go even more specific than that. We help moms or we help weekend warriors. And going on your community. Part of this is marking reciprocity. We started a brand new podcast for our community. We've done workshops and more co-promotions this year with other um, fitness uh, studios and, um, and business owners in our community than ever before. Be willing to do something different. Like I said, if you got this far in 2020 and you're still in business, but you're not doing that great or you're struggling or you're trying to figure it out, be willing to do something different next year. Or maybe you're doing all right. You're doing just fine, all things considered, but you want to go bigger. You want to generate seven figures or finally hit 10,000 a month or even six figures, and you've been struggling to do it this year, be willing to do something different next year. Be willing. Like, like wouldn't you say your patient who been going to the chiropractor three times a week for six years and they still have neck pain, you're like, well, gosh, I hope that uh, if you were seeing me by now, we, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Like, is that patient, like what, but I wouldn't say that to the patient, I'd be, hey, Mrs. Jones, would you be willing to try something different? Like, I see that you've been going to the PT, you know, for, you know, 14 weeks and you still can't bend your knee past 100 degrees. Like, would you be willing to try something different? Yes? Okay, great. What we're going to, what I'm going to ask you to do is let's just try something different and just trust in the process for a little while. I didn't even have to say that to the patient that came to see me with a bilateral knee replacement. It was, was um, discharged. She was, a, she was a fire chief. She was discharged from PT because she wasn't gonna get any better. After a double knee replacement, she could barely um, flex her knees 90 degrees. So she could kind of sit down. But guess what? She has to squat and climb a ladder with a 170 pound dummy. And she had to drag it 100 yards. This is one of those cases where put her on the table. Okay, lay down. All right, where's it hurt? Okay, I pressed on it. She basically is pointing to like the insertion of her hamstring. I pressed on it with my thumb. She remembers she's laying uh, on her back. I put her her shoulder, her, her foot on my shoulder, I press on it and I move my shoulder out of the way and her knee goes all the way down to 120. I was like, has anyone ever touched you there? Nope. Well, now she's got 120, right? So do the other side, we get like 110. Well, I started with the side that was worse. I touched her where she hurt, I listened to her. She came in for one more visit and then she got called out to go fight fires in California. It's like, see ya, I'm going fighting fires because she could squat and do everything and climb a ladder and do everything. Because no one had listened to her. No one listened to her body. No one touched her where she said it hurt. Man. Okay, so I want to shout out a, a couple people. Um, just so you guys know, like 2020 has been what the fuck happened, right? And there's some badass entrepreneurs out there that are crushing it. So I mentioned uh, Ben earlier, Ben Baggy. He's one of my Platinum Mastermind members. 
Um, he sent me this message in July, like <laughs> thick in the pandemic. I wanna update you. Now I'm officially debt-free. I paid off 130,000 in two years after graduating PT school and approaching the two-year mark in business and on pace to shatter 500,000 for revenue in the, in the second year of business. <laughs> Not bad for a new grad. I mean, Ben told me, I said, Ben, how'd you do this? Like, what was the secret? And he's like, he goes, well, Aaron, I just did everything you said. <laughs> I was like, okay, awesome. Hell yeah. I mean, here's a guy who um, didn't expect to like go in this, like to make a ton of money <clears throat> and his business started filling up in Oakland. So we um, hired a coach and then we hired other physical therapists. We scaled his time and pulled him out of his business so he could open another location. And he's actually back in Iowa right now, getting ready to open his second location because he never really wanted to stay in California forever anyways. And what did he do? He went above and beyond to solve people's problems through the pandemic. Um, we, in the mastermind, when it came around, we did a special session with my financial advisor. We all made sure we applied for the PPP loans, um, got PPP loans, and he barely hit a dip, you know, and they were able to stay open because um, they were in the gym. They were able to get special, uh, you know, um, how would permission, they were able to just get like from the, from the county uh, office uh, permission to be able to be open because they were the essential physical therapy services and they had all this space and no one in the gym and they were able to keep working through it and helping people and running online running workshops and marketing and running Facebook ads and just crushing it, right? Best month ever. <laughs> I mean, best year ever. Like I said, I know people who just quit and closed up shop. Julie, I think you're still on here. Julie um, shared this with me. I mean, not too long ago. This is October 2020. I want you guys to know, October 2020, Julie is a mom. She is a, uh, her husband, I think, tra works out of town. So she's kind of like, a, she's part-time therapist, part-time single, part-time stay-at-home mom. Uh you know, and um, she's got family on the weekends. And she's one of those people that would work seven days a week, 24 hours a day if she could. But she's able to do over $12,000 a month seeing patients part-time. I mean, how dope is that? Like, and she's <laughs> she did this while also training to climb Mount Rainier. So um, I just want you guys to know, what I want you to press upon you that it's actually possible to have a successful business even when everyone else is freaking out. If you keep a level head, and this is Jess, I think Jess is on here too. Jess, I mentioned her before, she she pivoted big time in March and she sent me this um, about a month ago. She said, thanks for helping me step outside my comfort zone and relaunch my program. She got on a call with me, she's like, Aaron, I launched my program and what do I do next? I was like, launch it again. She's like, you think so? I was like, yep, and she did it. And she's made $24,964 in one month. Look, I've had people do this when I, I used to race bicycles, I think you guys know this, I was a category one, which means I was at the top low amateur level. It took me five years to get there. I had to travel around the country, I had to score points. I had to score points against pros who didn't have to work to get to a cat, go from category two to one. And on my team, one year we had this guy, he was a world champion in rowing, right? You know, like the single man, Gulling, rowing, and the two-man. World champion. Amazing engine. He had lungs, heart. Like, it would just pump blood into places that I don't think exist in my body. And we went out there, hill climb January 1st, and he beat everyone except one pro. And it was, wasn't because he wasn't strong enough. It's because he didn't know bike racing. And so we raced. He raced on my team that year, and this guy was so much stronger than me. And I'd say to him, I'd say, hey, Greg, go get in the break up there. And he'd sit and go, you think? Look, Greg went to Harvard. Like I went to Duke, Greg went to Harvard, and he'd sit and debate me on the merits of getting in the break or not. And by the time he was done with his argument, the break was gone. He's like, well, why don't you do it? I was like, dude, I'm not strong enough to get in that break. I was like, but you are. Go get in it. And by the time he tried, it was too late. But people like Jess and Julie and Ben, I'm like, I can see what's happening. I'm like, go do it. And they're like, okay. And they get results, massive results as well as Amanda Zariello. Amanda, you know, she did, she started working with me about a little, about 14 months ago, and she just got done with her maternity leave. She built up her business from 5,000 a month to 15,000 
in just a few months by updating her sales and the enrollment process. And then this last summer, she hired another PT and uh, sold 10,000 in packages that week. The PT sold five of them. Um, and then she went out of town, uh, or not went out of town, she went on maternity leave for um, two months to have her first baby. She's also like one of those people that just like, hey, do this, okay, great, crushing it. So before I move on, I wanna just, I just wanna shout these guys out, they're so awesome, and we created this really cool video, so I wanna share it with you, and then I'm gonna give you an opportunity, I'm gonna get you some free stuff. I'm not gonna sell you guys anything, I'm just gonna give you some free stuff and show you where to get the help you need. Um, but just hold on real quick. Bam, let's see if this works. Twenty twenty is going to be your best year ever, and it can be because there's so much opportunity out there. Don't stop and never quit. It doesn't matter how hard it hurts or how bleak the future looks. You can't quit on your dream. Everyone else is going to stop. You guys, you can't stop, and I'm not going to let you. The biggest thing you want to focus on at this stage, if you are going to launch a podcast, is, is level one, obviously. So growth foundations. You can think of this as like um almost like a higher uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs when it comes to podcasting. If you get stage one right, everything else becomes much easier. My biggest accomplishment um, that I did in the last three months is I paid off all my student loans. I had $120,000 of student loans. Um, I graduated a little over two years ago from PT school. $120,000 and paid that off in about two years. And that's largely because of Aaron and because of the things that I that we did and, and took action on. For me, it was the um, prepaid plan of care packages was my game changer. Mm -hmm. um, framing that and um, getting people on board to pay ahead. For me, it was that time was money. Once I actually started to get rolling and the reason I enrolled in um, the Platinum Mastermind is because I realized that I just needed some time to focus on actually opening up a clinic as well, which of course no one could predict what was going to happen this year with COVID. I mean, nobody in their right mind predicted this. I haven't opened the clinic yet, but that's what I'm uh, gearing to um, open in about two weeks from now. That's, I guess, my biggest accomplishment. I appreciate you guys being here. I see the progress you make, the work you're putting into it. Just by being here means you're taking action, doing work. So keep it up, keep doing it. All right, so, dude, those guys rock and roll. So I just went, like, that was from our uh, September virtual mastermind. Um, <clears throat> okay, real quick. Um, look, I'm going to give you guys uh, an opportunity. I've got, um, I just got 50 of my books, the Cash PT Blueprint, here at the office. And um, I want to give them to you for free, especially if you don't have one. I want to give you one, or you know what? If you already have one, you can get another one and, and give it to a friend. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to uh, get that. What you're gonna do is you go to cashbtblueprintbook.com um, and you can do that. And uh, I'll drop the link here in just a second. But um, if you wanna win 100 bucks, this is your last opportunity because I'm gonna do a drawing. Just screenshot this or screenshot something else or screenshot yourself or whatever. Go throw up a little uh, Instagram story and tag me at Aaron LeBauer. Just share your number one insight. And what I wanna know right now is uh, what's been your number one insight so far? Like what's been most helpful for you about this? Put it in the comment below. Um, all right, let me see if I can get to my next page. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up for some questions. If you're on here and you're like, uh, well, let me tell you what's in the book real quick. So we go through the anatomy of my cash practice. Like what does a cash practice look like? What's the mindset you need to adopt? The money mindset, the marketing mindset, the, the doctor mindset. You know, we go through the practice blueprint, some of the nuts and bolts about how to set up a business, how to transition your practice. If you're here and you've got an in-network cl clinic and you wanna move to cash or just add cash, you go through the cash PT marketing system in the book and the entrepreneur mindset and so much more. There's things in here that um, you wouldn't believe I put in a book. There's checklists, there's scripts, etc. You know I mean? Like there's a whole do you take my insurance script in here. Um, you know, the difference is most people aren't going to take action on this stuff because it's it's free, but I'm going to give you this for free. I mean, if you do take action on it, I want you to um, tell me the results you get. So um, here's what you're going to do. Um, I've got, like I said, I got 50 copies. So the next 50 copies are free. All you got to do is cover shipping and handling. So you can go to the link here. Um, let me just drop one in the chat. And I know some of you might have to leave to come back in to go do the Instagram thing or get this. 
um, but we'll be here um, for a question. So um, let me just put this in there. Um, I just wanna give you guys a free book. It's free, just covers shipping and handling. It actually cost me $12 to print and ship it to you. Um, shipping and handling is like nine bucks. Um, just go grab this, cashptblueprintbook.com. And uh, if you have questions, here's what we're gonna do, is you're gonna just post a question, you put like a Q and a little colon, or you're gonna write out question, colon, and you just write in your question. And I'm gonna do my best uh, to answer it. Um, I know it's uh, late, we've gone a little over, um, but I do wanna answer some questions for you because um, I think it's important and I wanna give you an opportunity to do that. And uh, so all you're gonna do is just type in like question and then type in your question. I mean, you know, like I don't have another hour, so it can't be like an hour long question, but if it's something we can answer in just a few minutes, um, just uh, post that there. And if you're on this and you're like, Aaron, you know what? I've got a business, we're doing you know, 5,000 or more, we're doing okay, I wanna go bigger next year, I wanna hire someone, I wanna scale it, I wanna launch an online course, I need, and I need your help, and you have a passion to help even more people, and you want 2021 to be different, you just don't know how to make that happen, you wanna to work together, um, and the mastermind uh, results that you've seen people get in the video, you're like, oh, I wanna to come to one of those and work with you, all, all you gotta do is just go send me a DM, it says 2021, and uh, I'll send you some more details um, to see if you qualify, and if you do, we'll invite you into a strategy call, and uh, you know it's a free call just to figure out where you are, um, where you wanna go, and see if we're a good fit. So you, if you want that, all you gotta do is just go DM me 2021, and then um, I'll get you more details uh, later today. And uh, But if you're here, and you don't have one of the, one of these copies, we're giving away the next 50. We'll be shipping them out ASAP. Just go to cashptblueprintbook.com and uh, let me answer some questions. Um, so if you have a question, it can be about anything. Medicare, HIPAA, what do you think is gonna happen next year? Aaron, I've got this thing, I tried that, I don't know. Um, I got a few minutes. Uh, so this is your opportunity to pick my brain. Like I mentioned at the beginning, um, I don't do pick my brain calls. Uh, to get on a call with me is a minimum $1,500. Um, because, you know, like one, I don't just want to answer the same questions uh, for people. I want to actually give, my job's not to answer your, get, take away your problems. My job's to give you better problems, bigger problems, money-making problems, and to help you crush your goals. And it takes more than just uh, a couple hours to do that. We have to really figure out where you are, where you want to go, and create a game plan for you. All right, let's see. Um, let me go to... Uh, questions, uh, let's see, Jill says, realizing I need to go online, question is, do you see that as a starting point or adjunct to brick and mortar? Yes. <laughs> if you don't have a business, you can start online and you never have to go online uh, or do brick and mortar. If you have a brick and mortar business, you can add online. It's just you have to, if you already have a brick and mortar business, one of the things you got to do is you've got to um, create more time. You gotta buy your time back so you can work on the online thing. Unless you have like a large following, even if you have 12,000 people, making instant sales is difficult because you have to get do the right things in the right order. Um, so, uh, but I think it's great. I mean, you can do only online. I've got, I mean, I, didn't, I don't have to have a brick and mortar business anymore. It's actually, you know, some days it's harder to keep up keep than uh, than it should be because of the you know the pandemic and and everything. But I feel compelled, not compelled. Like it's something I want to do for my my people here, in my community in Greensboro. So I'm gonna work hard at it. Um, let's see, Jill. Uh, so hopefully, does that answer your question? Jill says, DM me 2021. Jill, can you send me a message uh, that says 2021? On my DMs, I'll, I'll come. I'll try to come back and DM you, but it'll be helpful uh, for me if you could go and just click on my name, click send message, put 2021, and we'll send you some details. Um, Sarah says, best recommendations for writing a first business plan. Well, we go over the exact steps uh, on how to write a business plan and set up your business in the Cash PG Blueprint, but uh, I never, like, would write like a formal business plan like that the Small Business Association wants. I created a PowerPoint for my first business plan. Um, but you don't really need a, it just depends on what kind of business you want. Like you can do a SWOT analysis and all this stuff. So it's the best um, recommendation if you wanna start a cash practice. I mean, grab the book, but 
The book isn't all you need. Um, you, the book is like the companion to the course. The course, I can put so much more in my course, um, the Cash PT Blueprint. Um, that would be something that I would uh, do. Master my members who come in who haven't been through it and are just in the starting phases, like they're required to go through that course. And that's really like phase one. And once we get in the Cash PT Blueprint, uh, the course is just designed to get you to five to 10,000 um, a month. It's really like, it can get you to the six figures, but you wanna go beyond that and get more time, uh, more revenue, more uh, experiences with your family, more impact. Um, then that's where we move people into the mastermind program. Um, but uh, business plan, um, let's see, I don't even know if I have a business plan because a traditional business plan is just numbers on a page. <laughs> you, and there is in the tool, in the cash video toolkit, there's an income um, estimation. So what a business plan is saying, here's the market, here's the people. We know that physical therapy is underserved and um, I know that people are gonna pay whatever you charge them. You're probably gonna undercharge them, they'll pay and uh, you just gotta figure out how much uh, you wanna make. Does that make sense? I mean, that's not a very analytical uh, way to do it. I can tell you, guys, if you want to be in a cash practice, the um, answer is it going to work. Is it going to work for you? Is are you ready for it to work for you? Like a cash practice will work anywhere. Um, but uh, the best way to build a business plan is to understand that cash practice works in small towns like Holland Oliver, Holland Oliver in the. Um, off the coast of Maine, like there's 5,000 permanent residents just in Calderwood in like a mountain town in Colorado for 7,000 people. It works in Oakland, it works in Brooklyn, it works in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm charging more in Greensboro, North Carolina than a lot of my coaching clients are in like Oakland, LA, New York, DC. So, is that helpful? Hopefully that was helpful. What's my, that's my best recommendation, Sarah. Um, Toby, what's a resource or site that every cash PT needs when it comes to automation and putting systems in their business? That is going to, Toby, that is going to be, um, active campaign. That's the number one. So it'd be a combination of active campaign, click funnels, um, and like Zapier probably and Google suite. But the number one thing would be active campaign. And in the Cash PT uh, Blueprint or over in the Mastermind Members Vault, there should be, uh, like, you'll get a free two week trial um, to Active Campaign and, and you can import, like, my email sequences and that kind of stuff. Um, but Active Campaign it can be used to send out emails. That's how a lot of you got here. It can also be used to automate emails, text messages, email. Like, I can send an automated email to someone on my team to take an action. I can tag people. That's the automations that we do that. Um, Google Sheets, uh, if you want to get more, de you know, like dedicated, something like Trello, even Process Street or other systems and softwares that can be used. Um, Toby says, another, other than digital marketing, um, what strategies for marketing should we be using in 2021? How should we reach our community? Number one is still going to be, how do you get out in front of people in person? And... If you can't do it in person, can you do it through video? Can you make personal relationships, even through DMs, following other people, commenting on their posts, building personal relationships? How do I come into your inbox or your phone? It's through my Instagram videos, my Instagram stories, Facebook Lives, etc. We build a personal relationship, even though we're not really talking. So it's that, it's doing in-person workshops, because we're still doing, like, running workshops. We're just not doing the... Um, the uh, injury assessments there, we're giving them an opportunity to sign up afterwards to come and do an injury assessment or a TBD in our clinic um, and converting people into patients. Because we want people to remain uh, distanced and, and wear masks and things like that, so we, uh, we've changed and tweaked it a little bit. It's still getting out in the community and building a social media presence and um, building trust and uh, utilizing this, you know, so th that's it. Those are, that's the real big rundown. Um, workshops, online workshops, webinars. It's a little bit different than just the digital marketing. It's still being personable in front of people. Um, great question though. Dominic, uh, what's up Dominic? When starting an online business, what technically separates what you are offering as physical therapy versus wellness and fitness? It's a great question. Are you solving someone's medical condition. I'm not a lawyer. 
Um, but it's somewhere along the lines of, is it physical therapy that they need? Or are you um, coaching and consulting them on like health as a health coach or as a performance coach? Are you doing group therapy? Or are you doing one-on-one, -on -one, let me solve your condition and then it can be, then that can be telehealth. That's not bad though. You just technically need a license in the state where they reside to provide uh, physical therapy services to them. So my suggestion would be if you're like, I don't know where that line is, um, get up with a lawyer to make sure that you're doing it, you know, like, and you feel comfortable with it. But in general, that's it. It's like if, if that person really should be in your clinic for physical therapy, you can still do a consult type of basis, but they should be getting some, uh, they, they probably need to be seen in person um, for some physical therapy, then that's, you, you start getting into the gray area. Make sense? Um, all right, guys, um, here's what I want to know right now. Insight, put in your insight. I, what was most helpful for you about this? So just comment below. What was your most helpful for you about this? What was, what was it that you learned? I'm going to draw the um, gift card. And I want to know what your action steps are. So I'm going to go to a, um, let me see how many people uh, voted. And I'm going to go to a um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all right, let me go to a random number generator and I'm gonna pick a number, um, random number generator. All right, I'm gonna pick a number between one and 35. All right, boom, I got <laughs> 12. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. All right, who's the winner? Let me see if I can find the right one. All right, Danny. What's up? Danny is the winner. Danny Fuse. Is that right, Danny? Are you still on? All right, just send me a DM. Um, and it just says Amazon. And uh, we'll hook you up. All right, awesome. Um, what's up, Danny? Send me the send me a DM over on Instagram and just say Amazon, and I'll we'll hook you up. Uh, we probably Delisa get in touch with you and get your um, get your details, and we'll get this out to you. Yo, all right, here we go. Okay, congratulations, Danny. You won the hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I don't know. Like I was kind of crazy to give that away, but we're really gonna give it away. If you haven't gotten your copy of the Cash PD Blueprint yet, go to cashpdblueprintbook.com and grab your free copy. Just cover shipping and handling, and we'll send it right out to you. Even uh, just the info in this book is gonna do a ton for you in 2021. I'm super stoked that you are here. Um, I appreciate you guys being on. Uh, hopefully, this was. Uh, something that uh, you'll want to do again next year. Um, I would love to know your insights and what are your action steps? What, if you could, what's one action step you're going to take? Put it in the chat, put it in the comments. What's one action step you're going to take based on what you learned today that you're going to, for you to do in 2021 to crush it, to get your 10x result? Just comment below, like what's one action, what's your next action step? What's the idea that you have you're going to go take action on? Because look, Knowledge is power, but action gets results. You have to know what to do, but then you actually have to act fast. The early bird gets the worm, and the early bird didn't sleep in or wait until everything was perfect to go hunting for that worm. Does it make sense? All right, you guys. Thank you so much. 2021 is going to be your year. There's some big things coming. You know, we've got PT BizCon 2021 virtual conference. We've got some uh, brand new webinars coming for you uh, beginning of the year in January. And uh, 2021 is going to be the year for creative, outside the box thinkers, people that are willing to go the extra mile to do what it takes to get results for their patients, for their family. And it's not um, for the meek. It's not for people who are fair weather friends. There's a big thinning of the herd. It's already here. It's coming. And um, you know what? The people, the entrepreneurs like us who are built for winter are going to make it out, make it through, help thousands of people and come out on top 
and everyone else who was in it just for a paycheck or just because it, they didn't they wanted out of their crappy job they're just not going to make it because they don't have the passion and drive so get in touch with your passion and drive and go out there and make a difference for other people and i'll see you guys on the next show